Anthony DeVolder. Now, this is George Santos' real name? Fake name? I don't even know the story anymore. I, we, which name is the correct one? Do we know? No. I'm Tommy Vitor. And I'm Brian Tyler Cohen. And today, we're going to be drafting the lies of George Santos. Brian Tyler Cohen, uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Great to see you. Thank you for having me. And uh, this is a fun one. I'm looking forward to seeing if we could actually rank these things in order of, uh, I guess, worst, best? Yeah, worst. Worst, best. Uh, now, so what people probably know about you is that you're a content machine. You crank out a lot of content. Now, when a guy like George Santos comes onto the scene, does that like make your life easier? It does to a certain degree, and then it just makes it uh, uh, exponentially worse. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> right. There's a point at which I'm like, I need a break. Yeah, you know, no it's, more just, it's just too much. He's the gift that keeps on giving until the point that he's uh, the the gift that taketh away. <laughs> he's giving so, you too much. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna call it in the air. Heads. Heads, it is. All right. So, Tommy, uh, as the first pick on mm -hmm. behalf of the blue team, I'm going to draft campaign finances. Ooh, okay. And here's my strategy for this one. So there's been a question surrounding where he got the $700,000 that was loaned to his campaign. Right. We've had reporting in the time that we've known George Santos that he couldn't even hold down an apartment and uh, he was stealing <laughs> checkbooks to pay for clothing. Right. So, so a $700,000 uh, injection into his campaign raised yeah. some eyebrows. I'm sure that we'll find out more on this, but uh, this is the kind of stuff that'll get you indicted. And for that reason, I think it stands apart from the rest of the stuff and it'll be my first draft choice. Okay, that's a really smart pick. You got the corporate loan. Mm -hmm. You've got a bunch of suspicious charges from his campaign for one hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> yeah, one ninety nine ninety nine matters because you don't have to put a receipt forward yeah. to uh, the FTC. So none of this makes any sense. Okay, so you're going with your head here. I'm going with the heart. <laughs> uh, I'm going with Sapphire, the service dog. George Santos allegedly. We don't want to get sued here. <laughs> yeah. Raised money to help a veteran get his service dog medical care and then stole the money. From someone who would trade years off of my life for my oh, dogs. Absolutely. Uh, who, who came to visit us very today. Very adorable dog right behind you, by the Let's way. See if we can... He's a very good boy. Yeah, he, uh, he agrees with your choice. And uh, yeah, but for, from someone who would trade years of, off of my life for my dogs, that is, uh, there is a special place in hell for, for George Santos. Yeah, so. George, George Santos, if you come near my dog, I'm going John Wick on your ass. <laughs> yeah. Stay away. So it's uh, it's my choice now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go with drag in Brazil. And mm -hmm. here's why. Drag shows are great. I've been to a lot. Have you ever been to a drag show? Yeah. You were, uh, we were discussing before this, and you, you mentioned that you'd be able to do uh, a death drop while we were here. So, <laughs> so the floor is yours. So I ranked this high because, you know, he, he chose a lie with so much photographic evidence. Yeah. Like, that so clearly illustrates that he is a pathological liar. Let's show the clip on this one. Get your hands up high. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence of someone who never thinks he'll get caught. That's what that is. Wow, that's remarkable. So, okay. For my second pick, I'm going to have to go with Mother's 9-11 death. It's a good one. Because, you know, my, my understanding is there have been a number of phases to this lie. I think he might lied about his mother's connection to 9-11 in several different ways. At one point he said she was in the Twin Towers. Then he tried to spin it and suggest that maybe uh, an illness that led to her passing was related to, um, I don't know. Some respiratory thing. Asbestos yeah. that came out of the towers when they collapsed. And then it turns out she wasn't even in the country yeah. on 9-11. So you just got to give him credit for sticking with the lie. This is how you know that he's only Jewish and not Jewish. <laughs> because you cannot be a real Jew, lie about your mother's death, and then not be riddled with soul-crushing oh, yeah. guilt for the remainder of your time yeah. on Earth. Man, what a stone-cold psycho. Yeah. Pick number three for the blue team. I'm going with McCarthy impersonator. Okay, I don't know what this one is. I'm excited to learn about this. So you, you, you haven't heard this <laughs> I have one? I have not seen this. So a Santos staffer uh, impersonated Kevin McCarthy's chief of staff in order to help raise money for him. What? I, I actually can't even be mad at this one because Kevin McCarthy is such a limp dicked <laughs> weak person who would do anything for power that like it's almost satisfying watching his own conference run roughshod yeah over i him. agree with that the thought of the hell that would rain down from nancy pelosi if some democrat did this 
and the difference there, the dichotomy between these two sides is just uh, pretty, pretty stark. I think we have some, some video here. You said yesterday you had some questions about his past. Did you raise concerns during the campaign season before the election? Well, I raised uh, my staff raised concerns when the, he had a staff member who impersonated my chief of staff, and that individual was let go when, when Mr. Santos found out about it from there. <laughs> he's, he's, I mean, I don't know how that guy stands upright without his spine turning to and dust. He, he's like, truly, <laughs> truly embarrassing. I love those, like, well, there's accountability for that lying staff member. <laughs> yeah. And that was important yeah. to me. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Number three, I got to go with volleyball mm, star. It's a good one. Claiming that you played on a volleyball team at a college you didn't go to for no reason makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> yeah. And it is just so hilariously, um, nihilistic and chaotic and ridiculous that I, don't, I just want it on my squad. With these lies, the whole world is your oyster. You can be like the prince of some island nation. You can, you can hold world records. You can be best friends with like the Dalai Lama's son <laughs> right. if he has the Dalai Lama's, if the Dalai Lama has a son. And instead, you choose to be a volleyball player at Baruch College. <laughs> it's like a D3 volleyball <laughs> <Yeah>. school. <laughs> You know, it's funny. I actually went to school on a, on a volleyball scholarship. I, you did? I, wow. I did, yeah. Um, when I was in Baruch, we were the number one volleyball Did you graduate team, from Baruch? Uh, did you graduate from there? Yeah. So did I. I. Did, I did. So did I. Oh, very cool. So, great school. Great institution. Very yes. liberal, but very good very good professors who don't show their bias, which is, which is very uh, interesting. But that's a whole other conversation. What we almost had there was like that moment where, yeah. where, this, uh, where this guy was like, oh, who's your favorite professor? What yes. was your favorite? What was your favorite? You know, what was your best best part of that gym what or something dorm? like that? Yeah, what dorm did yeah, you say? Yeah, what dining in? hall did you go <laughs> Just to? Just like we were so close we to having so that close. moment. And he said he was like, ah, oh, professors, not too liberal. Yeah. And sitting yeah. in the morning was like, you got it damn right. Yeah. <laughs> For number four, I'm gonna do a little a little twist here, and I'm gonna go pulse shooting uh, at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando in 2016, which I happened to at the time have people that worked for me in the club we my company at the time we lost four employees that were that were at pulse nightclub so this is a deja vu moment for me not a not something that that is really good even uh going over because it just brings back such tragic memories i guess the part that i'm having trouble reconciling is imagine imagine doing that and then patting yourself on the back as some as some trailblazer for being the first openly gay republican in congress you know like I guess that's the that's the part that I'm having trouble like yeah. reconciling here. It's maximum cynicism. Yeah. It's it's hard to wrap your head around saying something that shitty given that your community was targeted. Right. The the the, re the reality of that lie is that George Santos could have been in that club and right. gotten shot up. Yeah. Uh all right, with my what am I? Is my third pick, fourth pick? I think four. My fourth pick. I'm going to go with to be discovered. Oh. Because I think that George's best days are ahead of us. <laughs> I think he's, there is so much we don't know about this guy. Think about how much we've learned since, what, December? Yeah, and in fact, uh, the most recent piece of news was this Facebook post that had been resurfaced after about a decade where he had some reference to, I think is some reference to Hail Hitler or something like mm -hmm. that, and it's just the uh, really ugly stuff. But, uh, but all of which is to say that the, uh, that the to be discovered category definitely uh, is ripe for possibility. Okay, so to round this out, I think I'm going to go with Jewish. Mm. This was like one of the, the foundational it's lies OG here. Lie, I mean, yeah. yeah, OG lie. Uh, I just want to say for the record that, that we don't want him. We've got enough problems. We've got <laughs> Ben Shapiro. Uh, yeah. Don't need this asshole too. I don't, do we know what his religion is? Tell you. Oh, great. Little quick snippet here not trying to claim Jewish heritage or anything but my family is actually uh, my, my my mother's father was Ukrainian and uh, I'm sorry my mother's father's grand my mother's grandfather was Ukrainian had his kids in Ukraine my grandfather grew up Jewish they converted to Catholicism had their kids raise them Catholic uh, and I, I'm Catholic, but that's pretty much little history of my, my family into Judaism, when, when, which I believe we're all Jewish at the end because Jesus Christ is Jewish. And yeah. if you believe in Jesus and we're all brothers in Christ, I mean, not, I don't want to get too religious here. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, Jesus was a Jew after all. Yeah. <laughs> like, that well, is such a convoluted lie. Yeah. Also, in the beginning when he's like, oh, well, you see my mother's my mother's grandfather. He's like my my. My dad's my dad's brother's dentist, you see, was a Jew, and but before that was actually a cat. It was just, 
it was just a mess. The last, and, and still a fantastic pick, I would argue, uh, Anthony DeVolder. Now, this is George Santos' real name? Fake name? I don't even know the story anymore. I, we, which name is the correct one? Do we know? No. Okay. <laughs> so he's just got multiple <laughs> names. So, and by the way, this is the name, I think, that's also getting him in a bunch of trouble because all the vile shit he was posting on yeah. Facebook and Instagram over the years was under this name. Right. And that got sniffed out pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think this was, uh, I think he was like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm going to start with a fresh slate and I'll just be George Santos and no one will ever, no one will ever be any the wiser here. <laughs> And he ran for Congress and he won. Yeah. How did it happen? Yeah. Here's what we're going to do now. You guys are going to decide who has the worst list of lies. I guess the best list of the worst lies, you get it. You're going to vote on this. But first, we're going to make our case in 45 seconds or less. One last chance, like a closing argument at a trial, to prove why we have the worst list. So, BTC won the draft he's going to go first so we have we got everything in this list we have drag in brazil which is which is a salacious lie we have video evidence of him with in a dress wig heels it's fun we have the depraved stuff him saying that he had you know uh, that he had employed uh, victims of the pulse nightclub shooting even as a gay man we have something uh to show that kev mccarthy is a weak piece of shit that's always great that that can't hurt anybody um, of course, we have the Jewish thing, which is like the, uh, the foundational lie that, that, that was one of the OG lies that brought us into this. But then here's where it really sells it. Here's where this thing really gets brought home. We have the campaign finance violations. And that may, be, that may very well be the downfall of George Santos. And so, uh, so for that reason, I think this list has everything. And uh, it's, a, it's a clear choice for the best of the worst lies. Okay, so here's why I think I have by far the worst list. I'm going to say... I have unequivocally the funniest lie of all. Saying that you were the star on a volleyball team in a college you never went to is the most bizarre, random shit I've ever heard in my life, and you cannot top that. I think having a fake name has helped unravel some of these subsequent lies. And then I got the dark stuff here. Saying your mom died on 9-11, that's super fucked up. Saying stealing money from a uh, uh, disabled veteran for his service dog is maybe the lowest thing I could ever imagine. And then, listen, finally... We got my X factor here, which is there's no way this guy's done. There's no way George Santos's career as a liar is done yet. That's why I got the best list. All right, Brian, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I get, you know, if you actually care about Sapphire, the service dog, you know, you'll vote for my lists. Um, oh, but it's cold. Yeah, we that's do, cold. <laughs> we do appreciate you guys watching. If there's other things you want us to rank, please let us know. Yeah, We'd definitely love to get throw them in the, the comments section there. And uh, I'm sure as more lies come up, uh, we'll definitely want to rank those as well. So throw those in the comment section and let us know because, uh, you know, if there's one thing we know about George Santos, he's the gift that keeps on giving. Goddamn right. Couldn't have said it better myself.